hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day and for today's video i'm going to be sharing some new things that i bought recently so it's kind of going to be just a little random shopping haul i feel like i went to multiple stores and got like one item at each store so we're going to get started and i hope you enjoy so i'm pretty sure only one thing that i got was purchased online and then everything was in store so first thing I purchased this off of Dick's website. So I got a new pair of Nikes and I've been really wanting to get some new shoes for the gym. So I kept seeing on TikTok, no one specific though, but I noticed a lot of girls would comment that they were wearing the Nike Metcon 4. And I just thought that they looked cute and comfortable shoe in all these videos. So TikTok did influence me to buy these sneakers. So they cost 120, but I feel like it's the normal price range usually for Nike. But I did have a Dick's reward, so I wind up getting them for 90 So I saved $30, which I was kind of happy about. These are what they look like. I got them in a size 8, and I feel like they're pretty true to size. If you are kind of in between sizes, then I would suggest going up the next size. I just love how they look. I haven't worn them yet. Mainly because I didn't want to get them dirty. Because yesterday, no joke, it was snowing the other day, and then yesterday it was 50 degrees out. I had shorts on going to the gym. No, I didn't even wear any pants. Typically, if I do that, I wear sweatpants over it because obviously it's cold out. There are people riding their motorcycles. It felt almost like a nice spring day, which is obviously not good climate-wise. But so it's just been really muddy outside from the snow melting. So that's why I didn't want to wear them. I just wasn't dedicated enough to switch my shoes once I got to the gym. So I'm going to try them at some point this week. But they honestly remind me of my one Hirachis, like the Air Ultra Hirachis that I had a long time ago. And I talked about them before, and I don't know if they like discontinued them or whatever, but like I've never been able to find the exact pair that I had. They remind me of them, and for the most part, they are like close enough to what the Hirachis were, but they were more stretchy and like I don't really know. They I don't know how to describe it. I have the white ones still, but they're like so worn out. They have holes in them, so I never wear them anywhere. But I'm just so happy to finally have gotten a new gym shoe. Side so Nike Free Metcon 4. So I did stop at 5 Below. And I always am on a hunt for some new graphic tees. But for the most part, they really haven't had anything new in store. Although I feel like I'm there once or twice a week. So even if they get a new one, I probably have it anyways. So the only thing I picked up this time around was this Stitch Journal. And this was how it came. Some of the things I will admit that I'm going to share, I kind of like opened them already. Wait, it would have been for a good video. This is how the notebook literally was on the shelf. I guess it's technically considered a journal. I'm kind of sad. I wish I would have had this when I was in college. But I definitely like to have some sort of journal for keeping ideas and stuff for YouTube videos. But it just helps me stay organized. And I think it's so cute. There's little tabs along the top. And then on the inside, it has him at different things here this one i am obsessed with upside down stitch i don't know why like it just makes me so happy i had a sticker on the back of my car but started peeling off but then i have the next best thing which is upside down stitch little figure i don't know why i just think it's so funny and he's so cute i think it's his feet like, look at his little tootsies i don't know i love him and then this is the last one but I just thought this was super cute and I've never seen it before and I know Five Below's inventory at this point so this was something new. They had a different kind of journal last year but it wasn't that one because I definitely would have picked that up earlier. I did stop at Target. We all know when we go to Target bad things happen. You don't even go to Target with a list. You just go for the vibes and then it's like okay <laughs> what do we need? I did go recently and I got some new tops that I shared in a little haul and then I went a couple days later I don't even know why. Oh because I was returning the one dress from that haul that's why. So I got like a good $18 back from returning that dress so I'm like let me go see what I can spend with that $18. So I did pick up a new Valentine's Day house. It is February it is time to decorate this house. Well, I'm gonna obviously post this before Valentine's Day but the only thing about this house that I'm nervous is the reviews are not good. Like they got three stars out of five. And I did one last year and I think they had the same one again. So I didn't want to do that. And then they also have like a village type. But there's just so many houses. And for me to do that by myself, I don't want to decorate for cookie houses. I can barely decorate one. You obviously don't have to decorate all the houses that are included in that. But I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of getting that kit 
so i'm excited to try this out though i think it's so cute i love how pink it is but i mean this person whoever designed this one this is beautiful now if you watch my videos where i design one of those little houses um yeah we never come close to what they did i kind of want to get to something so i don't have any earrings in but i'll talk about that next pick up some toothpaste i love this colgate sensitive one i've been using this probably since middle school or high school and i don't think i will ever go to another toothpaste i was taking a break from that toothpaste not because i don't like it or anything but because i had little sample ones from when i went to the dentist and they were expiring later in the year so I was like, you know what, let me just use these. Why am I going to waste them? I got them not really for free because obviously going to the dentist be cost of money. So I was like, let me try them out. But I hated those toothpaste so much. I will include them in my product empties, but they were just so gross. So I'm excited to go back to my favorite Colgate one. And yeah, I will never switch from that. And then I pick up some tampons. I like to kind of like stock up in a way but not really wasn't a couple months ago where tampons were ridiculously priced and you couldn't really get them or something crazy was happening it's not that i stock up but i don't like to wait until i get my period to realize like oh my god i don't have any tampons i have to go to the store i like to kind of just plan ahead in a way and like i was saying about going to one store and just getting one thing now i'm kind of mad i took these out of the box because i wanted to wear them and then i realized I need to include this in my shopping haul. I need to think ahead next time. This is why I should write things down in my little journal. But I got these from TJ Maxx. They are $12.99 and they are these little butterfly earrings. And at first I took them out of the box. I put them on and I was about to return them because they had in the box like one of those little things that go on the back. Do I have to somehow connect this together? I hate those little plastic things and these just weren't clasping at first. But then I don't really know what happened, but they're, they clasp now. And I just thought they were so cute. But I was mad at first because I'm like, this is why I don't buy jewelry from TJ Maxx. Because of course this would happen and the earring doesn't even clasp. Okay. I feel better now because I don't like not having earrings then. So I feel like myself. So I mentioned a couple videos ago that I wanted to go to CVS because I had some extra bucks. But little did I know I had $14 in extra bucks. We got to go on a CVS shopping spree. But not really because CVS obviously is more expensive than a regular store. Now, another thing, we got to plan ahead. So I got some Excedrin migraine, girl. One thing about me, I know I'm going to have a migraine at some point. I get one usually during my period at some point and then just a couple times throughout the month. And I don't have any of this. I know I'm going to get a migraine probably later today. I got a new Wet n Wild lip gloss. This is just a clear gloss. I know I had one like this in the past, but I think the packaging was different and it was pink, but it was still a clear gloss. I know that I like this. I think the only thing I wanted different about it was that when you put the brush in, I wanted more like product to come out on it. But other than that, I remember I liked it a lot because of the consistency and how it felt. And then the last thing I got from CVS, oh, my concealer. I already opened it because I needed it. So I got my Makeup Revolution concealer. It's already like halfway empty, I swear. So I picked up at CVS, which I wind up only owing a dollar, so I wasn't mad about that. And then the last thing I got, I did a TikTok kind of unboxing sort of thing of these, so that's why I have them all put together. I went to Bath & Body. I had some coupons, so I went to the store, and I had gone online too because I had seen they had new stuff coming out. And I was really just going to buy it online at first. I had to pay for shipping. I probably can't use all my coupons. I went and I got this new Butterfly Car Visor Clip. So you can, I guess, put this in your vent as well, as said on the packaging. And right now I have it on my visor, but I feel like I can never smell this. So I want to try putting it in the vent and see maybe you'll smell it more. Yeah, I already had an extra one of the fragrances. Just pop it in there and that is what it looks like. But I thought it was so pretty. How is this dirty already? I debated buying this because the reviews on this little thing were so bad because a lot of people were just saying that it broke so easily so i was really nervous but i took the chance and thankfully it's still together for right now but yeah i guess a lot of the time what happened for these people is the heart just broke off and they had pictures and everything they weren't kidding this was so pretty though for valentine's day so i'm just gonna clip it on my purse and i love it and i just have strawberry snowflakes in here which i had in my old holder so i just switched it over and then I got a free gift, I think up to like $8.50. So this is $8.50 right here. Typically with the free gift, most of the time you can get a body cream, maybe a mini 
body spray and hand cream. What kind of sucks about that is they only have certain fragrances that are this size, the travel size. So this one I've never tried. This is called Pure Wonder. I think it smells okay. And I didn't try it yet, so we'll see. Because smelling something and actually wearing it, two different things. So that is everything for this random shopping haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye!